I'm really tired. I started at 7, it's 11. This isn't much of an intro, is it? Um, but uh, enjoy. I don't even know if I'm in focus. I'm so blind. Okay, I, I'm so sorry for the quality of this voiceover. I am trying to find the mic that I misplaced when moving into my dorm. But basically just take a kind of peachy skin color. Definitely pick one that's lighter than the one that I chose. Then using a thinner brush, I mixed a really bright white with a warmer yellow tone to make this tooth color um, and make them wider at the top and really pointy at the bottom to basically make them really long. With the Marion, whoa, I can't say that. With the Marion Paradise paints, I find that you do have to layer sometimes, especially with um, colors that you really want opaque, so in this case I'm going back over the teeth repeatedly throughout this video. Um, this is why I shouldn't listen to music while making these videos, but it's fun <laughs> anyway, so um, I'm basically, I clearly messed up with the uh, initial tone, so like I said, if you use a lighter skin color, you should be fine, so I'm just kind of correcting that, and then when you get to this point, you want to take a lighter pink or just a pure white and outline the top of your teeth, kind of highlight them basically. Um, make sure you leave a little bit of space between the highlight and the tooth to create that kind of 3D effect. And you can start painting the tongue with the bright red, make it as squiggly as you want, improvise and have fun. Okay, so I took some white and just kind of started highlighting, just kind of do like a, I don't know, the way you would paint kind of a reflection in a river, just kind of squiggly. I don't know how to describe it, thank god there's a video. But then you can take a darker red, and if not, just mix your red with black, um, and then go ahead and shade. Now in this video you'll see there's a lot of going back and forth with the details when the color kind of starts to fade um, and blend in, so you're going to see a lot of that. Don't be afraid to do that as well while you're working on your own face. Um, then go ahead, and I'm thinking a darker purple kind of, and filling in the mouth. And then with the eye, I recommend using a reference picture. I'm using about five I think, which I'll link down below. Just both from the real character and other people that have done this face makeup, um, so just, yeah, use a reference picture for this. Okay, now taking a square shaped, like, flat brush and black eyeshadow, go ahead and I'm kind of shading this weirdly. Again, using a reference picture is probably the best idea here. Go ahead and paint the rest of your body black. Um, I'm leaving some gaps in there, kind of making it look like I'm turning into Venom, um, so yeah. Also with this stupid spider, it really didn't turn out that great, and it's also, I definitely made the mask too long, and didn't calculate it quite enough so it doesn't really fit in the frame. Um, again, I just used a reference picture for it, there's no specific method I used, and whatever method I did use clearly didn't work. <laughs> 
Alright, now go ahead and take some blue paint, like a cooler toned blue, and do some highlighting. And again, just go back at details with white paint if necessary. I'm just doing spit, um, like stringy saliva, adding highlights to the teeth, you know, so on and so forth. Okay, so, um, <laughs> this was quite the journey, um, coming up with this. I figured out recently that, like today, that it was homecoming. So this is what I'm doing on my... <laughs> homecoming night um I really have to pee my brushes are so dirty and the water I've been using is so dirty I haven't really wanted to like leave the room because this is what I would look like like walking around college I'm in college now by the way <laughs> it's really awkward um so yeah I really hope you enjoy this my roommate is like not here for the weekend so she doesn't think I'm weird like if she didn't think I'm weird before she definitely is gonna think I'm weird now because this is what I do with my Saturday nights when I'm alone